Welcome to Snack My Bitch Up. I don't think we're gonna go with Snack My Bitch Up, but if you're watching this, you know what we actually went with. Probably not Snack My Bitch Up. Although, it's funny. We had many, many options that we considered. Um, I liked Snack Chili. Maybe I went with Snack Chili. Who knows? Only time will tell. <laughs> um, snack Chili. I can hear you doing it in a really obnoxious actually voice. You know those people that you hate? <laughs> those people that everybody hates? Those, yeah. Um, actually, XYZ, whatever, and anything that follows actually is horrible. Mm. Yeah. That's what it makes me think of. So I feel like people might like um, uh, our show. Be love like, Actually. Yeah, Love Snack Julie. Um, love Snack Julie. What other snack puns did we come up with? Um. Yes, anyways. <laughs> uh, I had one on the tip of my Snack head. to the future. Baby got snacks. Snack balance. <laughs> That's good too. Anyways, bunch of snack fun. So, welcome to the first episode of Snack My Bitch Up. What we have for you today? <laughs> I think a little water oh. blew out of my nose on that. How quickly? I mean, first we have to get monetized, and then after monetization, how quickly do you think we'll be demonetized? A week. A week? Yeah. <laughs> One can only hope. Anyways, today <laughs> we have coming at your snack holes. Which is a horrible word. Coming Why did I say that? <laughs> We're never going to be monetized. Um, we have two snacks. Close your eyes. Okay. You can open them. <laughs> Where are they? We have some chips, ruffles, double crunch. Have you had any in the double crunch line? Um, when we were kids, wasn't it like a... Uh... A crocodile on the bag? I think that was Dutch Crunch. I think it was Old Dutch had their kettle coach line. Yeah. Anyways, these are Ruffles, Double Crunch. I have not tried anything in the Double Crunch line. Based on the bag, it looks just like a larger ruffle, a more ruffly ruffle. Quite frankly, it looks like uh, the lining of a cardboard box. Yes, it's very <coughs> crinkle cut, I suppose. Um, unlike the nice normal ruffles, which is a soft, gentle crinkle, you know? Yeah. More wavy than crinkly. <laughs> More wavy than crinkly. But anyways, uh, these are in the flavor ketchup, which as Canadian people, we are experts in. Typically... I find that the Frito-Lay company that makes Ruffles um, also makes Lay's, go figure. Fritos. Doritos. Fritos. Um, I'm not a fan of their usual ketchup flavor. Burritos. It's that purpley flavor. Yeah. <sighs> like Lay's chips. Yeah. Now it's purple. Yeah. Um, and it tastes more sour than ketchup-y. I don't know how to describe it, but... It tastes like vinegar. We have a brand here called Old Dutch, which is just phenomenal. Can't get a better ketchup chip than that. And it's just, it's a rich, rich flavor. How would you describe Old Dutch's ketchup flavor? Like ketchup. Yeah, it tastes like ketchup. Anyways, we have these. Ruffles, delicious, double crunch ketchup. And then we have this monstrosity that Stephen picked up at the 7-Eleven called Sam Lam. Liquid Death. Tell me about this product. It's a, a sparkling water that will, quote, murder your thirst. So it has very interesting marketing. Um, it's like very douche bro. Uh, I think it's really meant to look sort of like it's an energy drink or something that people who are really into metal might like. Yeah. Maybe potentially like a sponsor of the UFC, probably one day, you know. Um, liquid death, sparkling water, murder your thirst. There's a skull there. What do you think of this marketing? I like it. Yeah, what do you like about it? I don't know. Do you think it just appeals to you because of the testosterone flowing through your body? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I think so. Do you think drinking this makes your penis bigger? Mm, I don't know. I can drink one and hold it if you want to. Should we measure before and after just to see what happens? <laughs> Anyways, this is um, water.
water straight from the Austrian Alps. You usually hear about things coming from the Swiss Alps, the, the French, French Alps. Alps. Nay, 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 I say. The Austrian Alps. That's where you can find liquid <laughs> death. Anyways, they put some bubbles in it and it's supposed to be awesome. It's supposed to murder your thirst. It is made by, is it made by, by Pepsi? Everything's made by Pepsi. I don't know. Ooh, it has a very interesting write-up on it. When a group of teenagers set off into the mountains for a weekend of drinking regular water in plastic bottles, they became hunted by an aluminum can of mountain water that was dead set on murdering their thirst and recycling their souls. Once cracked open, no thirst is safe from liquid death. After ritually dismembering its thirst victims, this brutal can of water used the severed body parts of dead thirsts to build itself a flesh suit, which it used as a disguise to get a job in marketing. But liquid death never took the job. It just murdered a bunch more thirsts instead. So, like, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we will try this puppy here uh, for you as well. What would you like to start with, sir? Um, Maybe we'll do a chip and then we can wash wash it down with some yeah. liquid death. Yeah, yeah. We can murder um, the chip our, flavor, yeah. cleanse our palate. Thirst. Yeah, and our thirst. Okay, here we go. This comes in a 58 gram bag, which I believe is less than what is typically in a Ruffles bag. It's a lot of weed. <laughs> Isn't it like 80 grams or something in a regular bag of chips nowadays? I don't know. You remember when it was like 45 grams and that was the size of chips you would get? Yeah, like yeah. this. Then they get turn them into Halloween candy. Yeah, now the regular size is the Halloween size. Yeah. Anyways, has a lace smell to me. Ooh. Okay, I will grab one. Take one. Please tell me, tell to me your observations. It be round. <laughs> one more, but like a like a fish. It looks like a fish. Yeah, it has a very deep wave. You know, if this was like on the curl scale, this would be like a two C wave. A tight curl. Tight. Okay. Anyways, shall we? Just kidding. <laughs> Bottoms up. Ooh. That's off-puttingly crunchy. <laughs> what do you think of that? It's like drywall. It's so crunchy. Why? That it kind of stabs your mouth. It's kind of hard to bite through. I feel like, yeah, this could be a good foundation for like a house or something. It's very firm. Oh, I didn't cut my mouth. And I think it has that regular Lay's flavor that we're used to. That purple, soury ketchup that kind of stings the back of my throat. I don't think I'm a fan of the double crunch. I don't think it works. It works in its favor. Would you eat these again? No. Would you try the double crunch in a different flavor? Mm, yes. Really? Mm. I think the double crunch is the thing I dislike the most. I think the flavor's okay, uh, but it's just too crunchy. I don't even know how they do that. It hurts my gums. And my ears. On a scale of one to five, what do you rate that, Steve? Um, like a flavor or like a total package, like the look, presentation. Give, give me the total package. No one cares about all that shit. Three. Maybe a two. A two. Out of five. I'm in two territory. Where'd you take your points away? The flavor. Because the one, they're super oblong shaped, which gives like the illusion that they're thin. And easily breakable, and then you turn it sideways and put it in your mouth, and it's like origami. You know what? You made a very good point. I think I would try these again in a plain flavor solely as a vessel for a nice dip, because there's no way those are breaking in the dip. You know what I mean? Mm. In a nice French onion dip, or a nice queso, whatever you like. Queso, okay, what now? <laughs> Um, okay, anyways, I, uh, yeah, two. 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 Two out of five, maybe even less for me, not a fan, not a fan. No. 
I wouldn't do it again. All right. Liquid death. Part two. What if it kills us? Mm. What if it murders not only our thirst, but us? At least we filmed it for posterity, eh? What's posterity? For what happens post, for after. Mm. Our death. Mm. Anyway, open that bitch. That was not convincing at all. <laughs> okay, it's already open. It's a fizzy water. It's gazifié, if you speak French. It's gasified. Is it called gasified water? Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh, gazifié. <laughs> My lover here has a fondness for the French. <laughs> anyway, There's give, not even anything in give her. <laughs> give her a rip. It's full. Ah. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Alright, what are your thoughts on this here, son of a bitch? <laughs> it's delicious. It tastes like sparkling water. So if you know what that tastes like, <laughs> this is what it is. Um, compared to some sparkling waters, like a, a nice Perrier, something ubiqu ubiquitous on the market that you may be familiar with, I would say that it's slightly less sparkling than the most sparklingest of the sparkling waters that I've tried. Yeah. There's no aftertaste. I don't taste like, I don't know, carbon. <laughs> I don't taste mountains. Do you taste well, Austria? What about Alp? There might be like a slight aftertaste, just a whisper of Alp. Um, overall, I don't think that this is a good way to spend your money because it's fucking 500 milliliters. You can get a big ass two liter bottle of sparkling water from the pop aisle at Safeway for like 99 cents. How much was this? 279. Hell no. Anyway, not considering the price, I would give it a nice four out of five because I like a sparkling water. How about you? The marketing is also fucking cool. Five. Five. I'll Whoa. Give them a five. Wow, it loses no points, not even for price. No. That's just where I took my price, my point away. No, it was good. Okay. All right. That's it for uh, our snack reviews for the day. What we um, great time? I don't know. He's having a stroke. <laughs> um, um. So anyway. Future episodes, I hope to have all kinds of great things, trying snacks, you know, from around the world, to give you some snack facts, maybe some snack trivia. We'll call them snacks. Um, yes, acts of snacks. Um, what do we call the show again? I haven't decided. The Pervert Hour? Yeah, the, the Pervert Hour, starring Steve the Perv and Pervert. Shayna, his Perverts. hapless Perverts eat too. victim. Pure perverts eat <laughs> But you should make it like number two, hey. like it's the sequel. So perverts eat one. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. It's probably gonna be the worst show, but eh. Alright. Thanks for being here, Steven. Goodbye! Thank <laughs> you.